Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome to my tutorial slash demonstration video of how to play Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on your Nintendo Wii U gamepad. So this is for off-screen gameplay. So first of all, I'll be showing you a quick demonstration on how to do that and then I'll be showing you some gameplay of me playing the game off-screen on the Nintendo Wii U gamepad and I'll also show you some gameplay of me doing that using the Pro Controller as well. Also in the future I will be bringing more off-screen gameplay videos of this game so don't forget to like and subscribe but for now let's get started. Okay guys so first of all you want to load up your Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate game so just go to your save and press continue and load yourself into the game and I'll show you what to do from there. Okay so once you're in the game you want to head over to options and then head over to the third page and then Wii U gamepad needs to be set to type 2 to do off screen gameplay and I'll just show you some gameplay from here. Okay guys so here we are with the game playing on the Wii U gamepad. So I'm just going to run into the free room area now. Um, as you can see at the moment I am using the gamepad itself for the controls but I will switch to the pro controller for a bit of gameplay as well. So I want to head over to the water section of this map because um, as some of you should be aware by now there are some frame issues in that area. Now to film this guys I am actually using a stand that I also use to film my um, Visa gameplay and 3DS XL gameplay. I'll try and put a link in the video description for that stand in case anyone's interested. Now the gamepad itself is quite comfortable to hold. You can actually change the controls if you head over to options and um, head to the second options panel and you can change the target camera um, evade camera zl and zr buttons and stuff like that so just switch it around to your liking and um, i've just kept everything the same as what it is set on default anyway So we'll do a bit of fighting against this purple loo drop now and you guys can just observe and see how smooth you think this is running. Um, I will be doing some gameplay footage of online gameplay as well using this off screen gameplay method just to see that it, if it's the online play that makes it have frame issues. To be honest, I think it looks pretty darn nice. I mean, um, for those of you who have Nintendo Land, you may have noticed when you've played some of the attractions, such as the Pikmin attraction, that the colours look pretty washed out on the um, gamepad itself. Whereas, honestly, playing this on the gamepad, the colours look really vibrant and really great still. Hopefully the camera will pick that up and you guys can see the quality for yourself. But to me the colours look really crisp, really vibrant, unlike when playing Nintendo Lands. They look pretty washed out. But it's generally not too bad on Nintendo Land itself. I'm actually playing pretty crap right now. So I'm going to try and lure this purple looter off into the water and see if we experience any frame issues in the water.
That's it, come into the water and we can check out this frame issue problem. Seems to be okay. Like I said, the true test will be for me to do some online gameplay using this off-screen method and see how it holds up on that. So as you move, guess, you've got the various different controller options for this. Obviously, the off-screen method, you can use the Wii U gamepad itself. You can also use the Pro Controller and you can also use the old Wii Classic controller with the Wii Remote. So this kind of just acts as like a portable screen for playing with this off-screen method, which is pretty cool. So it enables you to play the game when someone else wants to use the TV that's connected to the Wii U. So it means you, just, you can just keep on playing and enjoy the game and play online with your friends still. So I'm just going to pause the game now and I'm going to switch over to my Pro Controller. Just going to flip the light off as well and zoom more into the screen. So I'm now playing with the Pro Controller, as you can see here. So obviously it's great if you've got a stand like I have, just to pop the Wii U gamepad on a stand and continue playing if anyone wants to use the TV itself. This off-screen update kind of makes it redundant a bit for people who um, also have um, the 3DS game as well, other than obviously if you're a person that travels a lot and um, you want to use the transfer feature to carry on playing the game. I tend to go out a lot but I don't really take my 3DS with me because a lot of the time I can't play on it when I travel out and about. So um, to me this is really a great feature because I think it gives better quality than when I film my 3DS XL gameplay. I mean, I don't know. Feel happy. Um, feel free to leave a comment and let me know if you think it looks better when I'm filming the game on the gamepad over the 3DS XL, or you, or if you think my footage looks better when filming with 3DS XL. So comfortability-wise, when playing the gamepad, it's pretty comfortable. The only downside, obviously, is the battery power. The gamepad itself doesn't have a lot of battery power, so I tend just to keep it plugged in. Other than that, using the Pro Controller with this is great because, as you all know, if you already own the Pro, it has a heck of a lot of battery life. So it's only the gamepad itself you have to worry about keep him plugged in if you want to play for long periods of time using this method. So like I said, I'll continue to do some tests using this off-screen gamepad method. I'll film some online gameplay. Um, I'm also going to do a few village quests using this off-screen method as well. So feel free to like and subscribe if that interests you to check up on the performance of using this method. But otherwise, you've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time, guys.